Spyglass Hill. Bucket list course for sure. Notoriously one of the most difficult golf courses on the PGA Tour, and we're trying to break 80. Can I do it? Let's go. Supposed to be a tremendous caddy, we'll find out. I don't meet too many bad caddies, but some are more special than others. Depends on the day. <laughs> yeah, what was happening the night before. <laughs> Spyglass, here we go. I caught a break today because the, the back tee box, they're doing construction. So yesterday, the links at Spanish Bay, the back tee box scared the shit out of me, but I put one down the middle. Here, it was forward, and I piped one down here. So we should be able to get home in two, yeah, got and about if, an extra 100 yards on yeah, top. Yeah, we got 100 yards, and then we got some roll. If you could see what I'm looking at right now, you will during the next scene. Motherfucking Pacific. <laughs> Fifty-one, back into the breeze. Duff that shot. This this grass is thick here, man. Look at that coming up. Wow. Looks like right of this flag is a good place to be. Calling a little fade, little fade in there. test ourselves and like to see the way the or again where the architect the way he designed the course you play know. it the way it's supposed to be exactly this the way is, it was meant to be he built this course for the pros I get that yeah so god I think we ran off good iron shot there just a little long caught it way more flush in the rough than I thought it would be wow what a fucking view here <laughs> oh. just roll off good the spot, back though. chipping a putt yeah Chip in a pot, let's go. Yep. Number two, can't be far, 350. That's good. Yep. Be good. Good ball. Thank you. A little What's bit. What's the actual? 17. 17. This is a green light. I can't wait to show you guys this. Listen, to smash the like, the subscribe, please. This is unbelievable. Hope you guys are enjoying this 50 day tour. I want to tell you at the end of this, the course that you need to see in the next six months. I'm going to pick one of them out of the 15 to 20 that I play. Yeah, a little bit of a collar there. Right, we got a 55-60 number into the wind, downhill. Number three is Spyglass. Yeah, this is special. <laughs> uh, I got to take a little bit off this eight. Turning on me a little bit. All right, we're putting there. Back up against this collar, so that's probably going to kill some pace anyway. Yeah. 
Hard for me to see a lot of this ball right now. Yeah, tough putt. Not making it easy on myself. Yes. Thank you. Nice. Here we go. It's the back. It's the tee box from uh, four here. That green sitting down there to the left. But back here, there's three. Just made a nice little par there. And look at this view here. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Number four here. This is a golf hole. This is a golf hole times times two. We're going right at that that truck. Little little draw towards that truck. Bait it. Come on, baby. Hang. Hang. Bouncing. Go. Come on. Come on for that. Stayed there, didn't it? Yeah, tough one there. It's like you don't believe that it could stop. Should have came off of that ledge. All right, so far, Spyglass is exceeding my expectations. We like that. Got a ridiculously good caddy, you already know. I mean, you just kind of, you kind of know right away. I always ask caddies too, as a rule of thumb, what's your handicap? I mean, that's important to know, right? Um, if I'm two, three handicap, we're the same. I've been as low as a one. Guy shooting 85, 90, we're, we might not be on the same page. So it's a good question to ask caddies. What is your handicap? What do you shoot? So, so you know how much you can trust, how much information you can go with. Evans one great, obviously a very, very good player. And uh, we're impressed with this course. We're, we're, <laughs> this the fucking vibes are good here <laughs> at Spyglass, 100%. Deer everywhere. So the first six holes, you got the Pacific in the background, right? That's the way Trent Jones Sr. designed it, and then it kind of goes into the woods. So we get off the Pacific. And uh, we got great weather right now. We got, yeah. I mean, it was funny, earlier I took a ride with my wife on 17 mile drive, and it was 50 feeling like 45. And then the fog clears out, which you're not used to in this area. And now it's like 70 and I'm hot in this fucking coat. We got a guy behind us that found the hosel a couple times. We might be in the kill zone, but we're men. We're men. Evan takes one to the noggin. Yep. We'll just leave this running. This could be... If on, anything, this is just this is just good film material. This could be on hack patrol. <laughs> good kid, though. But n nice kid. Like, he, his future father-in-law has got him out here. He picked, a he picked one of the toughest courses on the PGA <laughs> Tour. <laughs> Holy shit. Number six here at Spyglass. Got the Pacific in the background here. Great par three there. Just made a little bogey, but tough green. Little dog leg right up the hill. Pretty golf hole. Pretty big fairway though. So what's our target here, Evan? Straight up the middle. Yep. Just trying to split the two bunkers. Kind of hug the right one a little bit more. Than a little yep. Yeah. We like that. We like it. All right, 167, we think playing 180. We got seven iron here. I like this flag though. 
God, that was thick. Nope. Come on. Okay. Uh, this is the view from behind six. Charlie, put a little, put a little arrow where that uh, back tee box is back there. Wow. Fabulous golf hole. Got a little bunker shot here. We got to get up and down. We don't have much green to work with. Again, a little heavy on the seven. That's all right. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Backed up here a little bit. Coming off a sixth. Really good up and down. A little bunker shot. I feel like if we got a couple more bounces, we could easily be at that even number. Not that it matters because, again, this is not about score, man. This is about, you know, I really want to show you guys this course. So, does it make sense for you to spend your hard earned money, get on a plane, and come out here? I'm going to give you my opinion at the end of this RV trip. So, go ahead, like it, share it, smash the subscribe button if you haven't already. Drop me some comments. You don't like my bald head. You don't like my fucking crop pants. <laughs> Whatever you gotta say, I'm here for it. Let's go. Bye, glass. temp greens what they? I normally temp greens like just fuck you just knock one close and there's like a big big fat fucking hole you chip it in you're like oh hey you got no no not that motherfucker no what it was a, a tough spot there what a scumbag that was all right on to the next one we'll finish here strong we need a birdie we need to take the fucking lid off of this the birdie let's go sandwich at the turn a tuna guy it said it was made on 728 now I'm shooting shit on the screen that's what today is 728 my daughter's birthday happy birthday Bob. I might have to cut that part out because it says when the date is the tuna is fresh right now really good front nine not by me Got a little sloppy on eight and nine and um, it doesn't matter we're talking about spyglass here special special front nine absolutely in love with all of the holes so far really despise that temp cream but this tuna sandwich is making up for it <laughs> I didn't take you for a tuna guy what did you think I don't know I just turkey thought, I just thought you were better than that <laughs> You know what happens? Lunch meat grosses me out sometimes. Really? Fuck, I don't know if the turkey, like, you go to Whole Foods and you get, like, hand-carved turkey. Yeah. I love it. Fresh off. But if you do some boar's head, slimy, turkey, sh I don't know, man. Like, I'm, some like, that's hit and miss. You know what I'm saying? I'm 50-50 with lunch meat. You can't get the stuff that's in, like, the, uh, you know, like those skinny little packages that you peel open. You got to get the box stuff that comes in the container. Right. I'll tell you what, this bread's good. Yeah. Nice little maybe wheat bread, yeah. piece of lettuce. It's a good sandwich, man. I'm gonna Free chips. Need some free birdies right now. Yeah. Damn. Can't 
came out hot. Little Cotton. nice little power fade there by playing with a guy whose name is Kobe. This course is really showing its teeth right now. Teeth, bangs, fucking blood stain. You're starting to see it. Yeah. Evan, Evan was talking about the differences in Pebble when they play the Pro Am here that they're, what, 30, 40 under, and then they're 30, 40 over here at Spyglass. Yeah. Tough course, man. But we like tough. Yeah. We like tough. What was the amateur? We're talking about that. When the amateur here, when USAM was here, 79 was the average score, I think. You, you guys can fucking fact check me, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's all. Just hit the like button. Drop a comment, hit the like. Come on. We're out here fucking laying it out, leaving it all out there for you. Thank you. Is this what you want to see? You want to watch guys eat bagels and shit? <laughs> this is actually Tom Coyne, the writer, who wrote a book, a course called America, a course called Ireland, a course called Scotland, Paper Tiger. What a great author, man. Great books, especially if you're on a road trip. And he's like, he didn't like to eat heavy. He was playing like national or something. I got lobsters, and he's like, I'm good for like M and M's in the middle of the round. This is normally my go-to. A little bit of sugar, digest them easy, and I can normally do like two, three packs. Can't go wrong with M and M. I'm right down the middle, straight like a grizzly's dick, right down the middle. M and M's sponsor the guy. Come yeah, on. yeah. I forgot to say that. Come on. They are. They reached out to me <laughs> about a sponsorship, and uh, I got to get back to them. I got to have my people talk to their people. <laughs> 243 downhill. So maybe the, even the front of that green, if I hit something 220, right? 230. 225, 230. We're okay. We, we got to. We can't lay up here. Eh, not the bunkers you want to be in. Yeah, take a look at this bunkering on um, on 11 here. I'm, unfortunately, I'm in one of them. I'm going to have one of the most difficult bunker shots of my life, but it's really cool, man. Risk reward from the middle of this fairway. Nobody's clapping and it felt really fucking good. <laughs> I can't, can't explain how difficult this hole is to the eye as a lefty. It's as good as I got. Be right. Come on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Woo! golf shot this is actually the point in the round where like we kind of kept the the big number out of play we get a birdie here we've been hanging on by a thread exactly we gotta hit some golf shots something's got to turn around that was a good one that's a start am i the hardest working man in youtube golf the camera the drone some think so it's been said people have said it there's been murmurs there's a little talk on Cali. We like it straight. People don't like straight putts. I like the straight putt. Inside, inside right, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. On the game, on the board. Thank you. All arms. Oh man, that hit hard. Wow. Par 
par five. Fourteenth. I put a good swing on this. We like that. Thank you. All right. Fourteenth. Run, run, kind of running out of daylight here. That's all right. Here's what we got going for us. Besides a nice birdie on twelve. But back to this tuna sandwich. Man. It's very solid. You know, you just know when the tuna is fresh. What's that? What's that? What's that movie from? Ben Stiller. Heartbreak Kid. So you keep the tuna fresh. We'll keep coming back. Heartbreak Kid. Man, the spyglass. I'm really liking this. Smash the like, subscribe. Gotta get some likes on this. Drop some comments if I'm offending you. Eat my sandwich. Evan, what are you saying? You thought I was better than that eating the tuna? Well, yeah, I just. I figured we'd have a little bit of a breeze today so I wouldn't have to be stuck around this smell. Oh. Well, he, I guess he's thinking I'm Italian. I was going to eat uh, <laughs> prosciutto and uh, mozzarella. They don't have that. That's here. what I prefer. The right in the kill zone here. Or being from Philly, at least getting a nice Philly cheesesteak. Yeah, but we, we're, in the, we're in Monterey, right? I had a bakery. I was at a bakery this morning. It wasn't that good. I won't name it. I swear it was a day old pastry. They just wrapped it up, put it out the next day. <laughs> oh my god, we missed that. What do you do? Just yeah. hit it and went nowhere. Literally just chunked it. Tomo, good dude, man. Dressed to kill right now. Can't play worth a shit. Absolutely dressed. Way he's dressed dressed he to kill. Like Little seven iron laying up on this par five. Juicy. We like that. Little trap, little trap draw down there. Number of 78. Up a few, so 85. You like that with the drone? Yeah. <sighs> no, you can't leave those short. You just can't leave those short. Kobe, you might want to just, just think, I'm not that, I'm not that good. For you to have your back to me, <laughs> no way. I, I like the confidence in me though. I really do. Thank you. All uh, right, we got 130. Thank you, Kobe. Thank you. 135, but we like 125, 130. Yeah. I'll play a little draw, a little draw in here. Start at the center of the green. As good as I got. Good as I got. He loves it. Evan loves it. Let's go. The thing is, there's no water, so like even if we're short, it's a chip and a putt, you know. We're switching to five. Just it just feels it just feels like the air is thin. Ah, it was a good shot. Just. Tough golf hole, man. What's that? Oh, yeah, it's in my ear. As good as I got. Oh, it stopped. I thought that was going to release more. I thought it was going to release. That rolled right over the fucking... That rolled over the edge. That would have been a hell of a fucking four.
This is what Evan and I were just talking about, right? If you're if you're a single digit handicap, you were late. The last hole, great par four, 16th, yeah, right? Second hardest hole on the course. Hit a good drive. Let's call it 280, 285, right? Little little draw. Couldn't then place I, it any better. Right. Couldn't put it out there any better. Then we got a five iron left to a just a ga small gap of a green, right? And um, so I just pushed it a little bit. We had a little side hill line, just a little bit, right distance, and I'm in the bunker. So, okay, fine. Then we get in the bunker. I hit what I think is a great bunker shot, and the ball doesn't release. Yeah. It leaves me five, six feet. six feet. Like, okay. A little bit of a bender. We both agree on the read, and then it just, we don't know how it stays out there, but it stays out there. That's spyglass in a nutshell right there, right? You're hitting good shots. You, you think you... Your intuition is where it needs to be. I picked the right line, I picked the right club, and it ends up with a bogey or worse. That's why this course is so tough. That's why it's so great. That's a steep. That's can't why I miss. love it. Yeah. You can't miss here. You just can't miss. Let's make birdie. Mm. Starting to lose our depth perception here. That's it. Come Spyglass. On, What's up, brother? Come on, man. Right. Pleasure. That was awesome. Tomo, awesome. That was awesome. Kobe. Great time. great time, man. Appreciate you guys. Hey. Go out. Smash the subscribe, <laughs> like. Sure. Evan, sure. you're the man. One of the best caddies I've ever had, for sure. Got to come out and see this course. See you on the next episode, guys. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Right now, I'm on the exclusively public RV golf trip, 50 days coast to coast. East Coast, the West Coast, back to East Coast. I'm gonna see some amazing public golf courses that have an exclusive feel to them. And at the end of this RV golf trip, I'm gonna give you the best of the best, the trip that you need to make happen. No matter what happens, you need to make this trip happen. If you love golf the way I love golf, you need to make it happen. So stay tuned for the big reveal at the end of this RV golf trip. Appreciate the support.